In this demo, we are going to install BMC Client Management Master application on a Windows Server and we are going to use the Microsoft SQL Server as the database server. If you want to review the system requirements, then here's the link from our official documentation where you will be able to see the hardware and the software requirements. The EPD is the official site from where you can download the installers. Let's start the demo. I have downloaded BCM 12.9200124L version and I have already extracted the files which I need for the installation purpose. Right click on setup, click run as administrator, select the language of your preference, click next. Be sure to go through the end user license agreement, click accept, click next. Since we are going to use the dedicated SQL Server, we are not going to select the SQL Server Express option. The master and the console are two default options that we are going to select. Click Next. Click Install. When you receive this pop-up, click Next. If you have a license file, you can import a license file using this checkbox. Or if you want to continue with evaluation license and want to import the BCM license later, you will be able to do that as well. Since I have the license, I'm going to import it. Click next. Select anyone who uses this computer. Click next. This is the default installation directory. It is recommended to install the application on a dedicated drive where you have enough disk space or you can scale up the disk space as per your requirement. But for demo, I'm going to keep it on C. Click Next. These are the default ports that BMC Client Management uses. So you need to make sure that these two ports are open in your environment for BMC Client Management to function properly. Click Next with the default settings. The database engine type is SQL Server. We are going to update the SQL Server name so that we can connect to the SQL Server and then create the required database and the table spaces. Use the SA or the SA equivalent account who has permissions to create databases and table spaces on the database server. Click check the connection. The connection verification was successful. Click OK. Click Next. This is the default database name and this is where the database and the table spaces will be created. If you want to change the default directory, you can do so. And this is the user that will be created to communicate between BMC Client Management Master application and the database server. Click Next. Click Next. The service name will be BMC Client Management Agent by default and we have selected to start the BMC Client Management Agent after the installation is successful. Click Next. Click Next. This is a summary page where you will be seeing the installation directory, the ports that are used for installation, whether the application has SSL enabled for secure communication, what is the type of the database used, the name of the database, and the database server name. If you want, you can screenshot this and keep this information for your reference. Click Install. The installation will now begin and will take some time while it creates the table spaces, folders, registry keys and the required services. The installation is now completed and the service is also started. The shield icon in the system tray shows that the BCM agent on the master is now initializing. Click finish. Click finish to complete the setup. We have successfully installed BMC Client Management Master on a Windows Server and we have used Microsoft SQL Server as our database server. Wait for this agent icon to turn from gray to blue. That means the agent is fully initialized. It has successfully initialized communication with the database and it has loaded all the required modules. The BCM agent is now fully initialized. Let's try to log in. When you install BMC Client Management Master for the first time, 
the default user created is the admin and there is no password associated with the admin account initially. Click login with the blank password. And the very first thing that you will be asked to do is to set up the password for your admin account. So we have successfully installed the BMC Client Management Master Server and we are successfully logged in to the BMC Client Management application using the default credentials. Thank you for watching.